Good morning, everyone. Today, we're, this is actually the last slide in our evolution unit. The rest of the work, we're gonna, a week, we're gonna just do some work. In the workbook, I have some interactive stuff we'll review. Your test will be next week, but for right now, we're gonna finish the notes on evolution. This bird right here is called an Archaeopteryx. This was a huge find in the 90s because these little imprints right here show that it had feathers and they didn't think that this is actually not a bird it's actually a dinosaur it was the first known dinosaur to have feathers um, it was a theory for a long time that dinosaurs were more closely related to birds than lizards in fact they're what we have called um, bird shaped bird hipped dinosaurs some people think that dinosaurs evolved into modern day birds so it's pretty cool it was a huge find okay so patterns of change Changes in species are often related to environmental change. Some species with short reproductive cycles that produce many offsprings and evolve more quickly than species with long lifetimes and new offspring. So we talked about the fruit flies. They only live for less than a week and they have a whole multitude of ways that they evolve with each generation. Because when you think about it, by the time somebody who lives to be about 80 or 90 years old, by the time they have children, it's a long time before you see that pattern of change. And usually when you see a major change in DNA, it's through offspring. It's not through um, the person's genes. So it'll be the children that will have the new mutated genes and better adapted to survive. Um, failure to adapt to a changing environment can result to the death of many species. And if you remember our Beaks of Finches lab, they, um, the birds that couldn't feed off the seeds, they either had to move from the island or they died. Again, this is showing you how evolution is more like a branch than a tree, because here's the ancestral species, whatever it is, the first one. One species won't be able to make it and will go extinct, but all these other multitude of descendant species will be adapted and able to survive. So we talk about survival of the fittest, this is another example of it. Um, don't get here. Oh, Rate of evolution. Minimal uh, environmental change often results in stable populations. Rapid environmental change also causes rapid change in the species. Okay, so you don't want huge environmental changes. You don't want there to be like an ice age. You don't want there to be a major warming period because it will disrupt the species. So minimal, very little change will result in stable populations. Um, a rapid change, the species will rapidly try to adapt. Many won't be able to, like the dinosaurs. Over 75% of species went extinct because it was too cold. Rate of change can be linked to the number of offspring. Few offspring leads to lower evolutionary change. So if you're not having as many babies, it's not going to be as many DNA variations. Uh, another example of rapid change is antibiotic resistance by bacteria. So when you go to the doctor and you have a cold, they're not going to give you an antibiotic because the more antibiotics you take, the more um, immune your body becomes to the anti antibiotics and they won't work. So they try not to prescribe antibiotics. Viral, viral infections, antibiotics will not help it. Okay, so here is a chart, a high number of bacteria. Some of them, a few of them are resistant to the antibiotic, the pink ones. The antibiotic kills pathogenic bacteria as well as good bacteria within the body. Good bacteria is called probiotics. And when you get sick and you're on antibiotics, this is why it can cause nausea or diarrhea because it's disrupting that good bacteria in your uh, intestine and the good bacteria helps break down food. So these only little two pink ones survive, but look what happens. They rapidly reproduce. So the antibiotic resistant bacteria now prophylates, prophylates without um, competition. And that bacteria can transfer, transfer the antibiotic resistance to the other. So this is the blue one. It's transferring that DNA to the new one. So it's also resistant to antibiotics. So now all the bacteria will be resistant. Um, extinction is the disappearance of an entire species. We've had two major mass extinctions and there's been minor ones in between, but the one right after the um, Paleozoic was the worst one, even though nobody talks about it. Over 90% of marine and land species went extinct. The disappearance of the dinosaurs, about 70 to 75% of all species was wiped out. 
but the little mammal creatures burrowed underground and survived. So an extinction is defined as any time the death rate is greater than the birth rate. There could be an extinction of just one type of species. The black rhino is now um, extinct in the wild. Some species evolve and some are slated for extinction. And this is just the way nature works because the stronger, more adapted animals will go on to survive. And that's the end of the notes. Please let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.